okay so last class uh, we just created a variable to store the uh, string character and uh, integer flow double values so whenever we uh, debug that so we will come to know that what data type uh, what uh, type of data it is storing so this variable also that variable it will become the uh, that type of data type so whatever the value we store so the type of data type it will become so let's check it again once again so i'm just debugging the code so when i just put the breakpoint at the line number 11 so now if i just go to this next line so it just created the variable harsha and it is storing the value s so and that is the type is string so in the python we can mention string in the single quote or double quote anything so but in if you take in c programming so we used to uh, store a single character in the only in the single quote so double quote we used to store the strings so but here we can store uh, single character or multiple characters with the double quote or single quote not an issue So just it is now printing the type of this variable. So now I just give the double code. So execute still it is showing the string only. So the variables are the case sensitive. So case sensitive means, so for example, if I declare one variable with the small a and another variable I can create with the capital A. So, but that capital A is the, it is a new variable. So small a is the another, another variable. So it's not both, not both the variables are same. So even we can check it. So I just give Arsha and I use So I just print the value. So for first line, it is printing this string. In the second line, when I am calling this variable, so in the second time it is printing this character. So like this, so the variables are case sensitive. So if you change one single character also, it will be another new variable. It is not the same variable. If you want to call this variable, you should call exactly like this. Even if you use it, at least one character as a capital letter, it will tell like that it is not uh, unresolved reference for our show. It means that, so there is no any reference. Reference means there is no any variable declared with this name. So that's why it will give the uh, error. So even if we try to run that code, so it throws the error. Arsha is not defined. It means that Arsha variable is not declared. So this is just a uh, declaring a variable also along with the storing the values, different types of values. And how can we create a, uh, how can we declare a variable names? So variable names, it's a completely depend upon the user. He can give any name. There is no any restriction. For example, if we use any keyword, so we should use exactly the same keyword. For example, if I am using the print statement, I should use exactly like this print. But when I am declaring a variable, it's completely my wish. I can give any variable name. That is just for my reference when I am doing the coding. So if I am giving some variable name, it, there should be a name. 
there should be a meaning. For example, I just give it as a name and this I give it as an initial. So I'm just printing the name and initial. So this is completely our own defined name. So, but still it, there is a, having a, some restriction. For example, we can't declare it with the start with the Z, uh, any numbers. So if you take any numbers, it will give the error. So you can see that there will be a red line. Even if you execute it also, it will throw the error. So, but after the character, we can give any name. For example, one, I just give after name name three, we execute, it works. So, but here it is not defined name. So that's why here also I need to change that same variable name. So when I execute that, so it is printing, there is no any issue. Okay, so we can't declare any variable with the start with the numbers. Also, we can use underscore, but other than the underscore, we can't use any other special character. For example, if I am using a turret, so it will give the error. Here itself, it is showing the line. For example, if I use the star also, it will give the error. So only special character we can start with underscore. So this is the restriction when we are creating the variable in Python. So other than that, it is completely uh, user defined name. So he can give or any name he can able to give. So like this, we can declare the variables. Even we can't give a space. If we give the space, it will throw the error. Even we can't start with the number. So I think hyphen also it will not work. We'll just check it. Name hyphen. Okay. So hyphen also it will not work because it mentioned like it's a subtraction operator. So that's why we can't use hyphen. We can use only the underscore. So once if you declare the variable before this, uh, before when you are going to call the variable, so it will list all the variables available. Okay, just I'm typing in. So these are the uh, available libraries from the Python, which we can use it. Uh, whatever it mentioned like a V, it is the variable name. So as of now, there is only in the NAM, so there is only name a underscore a is only the one variable. So that's why it is coming. For example, this one also I will make as a name underscore b. So now if I'm going to type, so it will show the two variables. So we can select which variable we are going to call. So in the below line, if I want to call another variable, just I have to type. So then it will list what are the variables available with this name. It should be declared before this only. Otherwise, even system will not understand, even Python will not understand. So what is that reference? So I just give a name. For example, here I will declare one name underscore C. Now, if I type, it will show only two variables. Okay, only, so the code, whatever the lines you are uh, going to write the code, so before that only that variable should be declared. Then only we can get the reference. So if I type here, it will show the variable names here. After a declaration, it will add into the list. So we can select which variable we are going to use. So this is from the tool by itself, it will come. So if you edit the code with any normal editor, it will not, this, this option will not come.
assigning the multiple values to the uh, multiple variables. Okay, if you take any C programming, any other programming language also, there is uh, this type of options. It is not available. So only in the Python, it is available to assign the values in the in a single line. So for example, name A and name B, I am just creating in the two lines. So instead of that, I can use comma name B and single equal. Okay, name A will store the first value, name B will store the second value. So it, it will store correspondingly. So like this also within just a one line also, I can create a variables and also I can assign the values for that respective variable names. So it's depend upon the positions. So first position variable name, it stores the first position value. So second position variable name, it stores the second position variable value. So this is the many values to the multiple variables. Also, we can store one value to the multiple variables. So for the multiple variables, I can create and I can store only one value to all these variables. So I just created a name B, name C. And also, I will give as a name C. all these variables will store that single value. So if I execute this, too many values. Oh, sorry. So instead of comma, we should mention with the double e, single equal. So then first it will store the value to name C also along with the name B, name A and A and so on. So now single value, it store all the val uh, same value to the all three variables. So this is the one value to multiple variables. So these are all the very simple concepts you should understand. So when we, when we are developing the code, when we are creating a code, so that time it will be very useful. So depending upon the situation, we have to use the uh, these concepts. So unpacking, unpack collections. So collections means it is a set of data. So in the uh, collections, uh, in the Python, we are having a lot of collection types so that we will see it in the future, like a list, tuple, sets, dictionary. Uh, so these are all the very important uh, collections. So this is actually a list. So in the list, how can we unpack the values? Okay, so just uh, I will create one list value. So fruits is a one variable. So that is the list type. So because I am going to store the list type of array, list type of value. So because of I am storing the list type of value, so the fruit the fruits variable it become the list so let's debug and we'll see so in a single line it's created a three variables name a name b name c and it stored the same value so now fruits variable has been created and this is the type is the list so it contains the three values so this is the zero index one index and two index Okay, so this is just creating a list. So how to unpack this list? So we can give a name a name comma week comma name c equals fruits.
Now let's debug the code. So now name A, name B, name C is contains the Harsha, Harsha, Harsha. So now I'm going to store this fruits list value to the uh, corresponding, corresponding variables, name A, name B, name C. So now these values has been changed. Okay, so inside the fruits, it containing the three values inside the list. So first value will has been stored to the name A. Second value has been stored to the name B. Third value has been stored to the name C. Okay, like this much simple, we can write a Python code. If you take C programming, usually when we have to do, so we have to write a for loop and we need to iterate how many times it is there. And each time we have to fetch this in by index, we need to fetch this value and we should be able to store the uh, to any variable. So, but in the Python, that's very simple. So just we have to give the variable names and in the single equal, we need to mention the list. So inside the list, whatever the values contains, it will store depend upon the indexes, index numbers. So this is the type we can store the values to the variables, multiple values to the single variable. So if any questions uh, can ask uh, directly uh, in the class itself, so it will be easy to resolve your queries. So also uh, in the next classes, whatever I have done these concepts, so you should practice uh, with the pie chart. So how I am doing in the same way you have to practice in the pie chart my day. So otherwise later on you will just forget that concept also you will not get the concept. Now outputting the variables means nothing. So you just we are just going to print the values. So for example, I'm just printing this variable name, variable. So it will print actually the value. It will not print actually the name of this variable. For example, I'm just printing the name a variable, I am just giving a reference variable name. It will print the value which is being stored in this variable. Even if you want to print multiple values in the same single statement itself, we can print by using like this single comma. Also, we can append by using adding the plus symbol. So first we'll see this output. So it is uh, printing the name A, name B and name C. After that, again, I am printing the name B and name C. So now I will just append the value name A plus name B plus name C. So now it is uh, appending the values without any space. Okay, so this is differentiating the different different values. For example, first one is the name A, second one is the name B, third one is the name C. So, but here what it is doing, it's just appending the values. So if we give a space inside this string, Now let's execute. So it is splitting one space. So this space is because of this string we are going to store. With the space we are going to create this string. So if we append, uh, append any string, so it directly append it, it will not give any space. So like this, it will append by using the plus operator, we can do like this.
So also plus is the actually mathematical operator means it will do the additional operations. So when I do with the integer numbers, it will actually do the addition and it will print the final output. So, but when I am doing with the string, so it will give the uh, So just let's check with that. So we will get the output when we are doing uh, addition operation with x plus y. So first we'll do with the integer value. So let's remove everything. So here I will see in question. Now I'm just print the C value. So I'm just assuming the value A and B as a 5 and 10. I am just doing the addition. A plus B is so 10 plus 5, 15. So but when I am going to do with as a string. So it is not able to do the addition with the integer and string value. So even if we uh, give to the human also, he can't able to do the addition. He can only append the value to the string. For example, 10 is a string. So that's why uh, machine not able to understand. String, it means it is it can be a alphabet, numeric, or any special character. For example, string, if I give a, so it will not uh, do the addition operation with the string values. So like this, we can print the output. Okay. So next concept is the global variable. I think uh, global means it is outside. So anybody can able to access, anybody can able to view it. So for that, we call it as a global. So in the Python, when we are creating a global variable, so directly we just mention some value. For example, I will take only one variable, j equals to five. So when we are creating a method, so inside this method, so there will be a local variable, so which works only within this method. Mm. What is method? Anybody can know? Anybody understand what is method? In C programming also it was there. So if anybody remembers can tell me. What is method? What is function? In the programming. Nobody don't know. No, sir. Okay. So method, it is a separate set of code. So it means that we are going to declare one method and whenever it is required, we will call that method. So that time it will execute whatever inside that uh, code, it will, it will print. Okay. So just we'll see the Python definition to create a method. So first we need to use the keyword def. So in, after that def, we need to give the method name. 
So this method name also we can give whatever we want. So for example, I am going to make one method to make only the addition operation. So I'm going to create an add method. So after creating this method, we need to give the brackets. So if there is any parameters, we need to pass it. So let's uh, see in depth in methods concepts when we come to that methods. So I think next. Okay, methods is not there. So we'll explain here only. Okay, so this is without parameter. So I'm just defining one method along with, after that we need to use the colon. Okay, so after that we need to keep some space. This we call it as an indentation in Python. Okay, even in C programming, what you were doing. So when we are creating a variable, first you will type the return type after that method name addition, open bracket, close bracket after that open floor bracket close floor bracket within this you were creating the code int a equals to 10 int b equals to 20 and return a plus b so like this we were written, writing a code in the c program Not only C, in almost other programming languages, uh, even in Java, C Sharp. So if you take any programming languages, so we create a method like this. Okay, within the open bracket, close bracket. So this method functions def definition. So whenever we call the addition method, so it will start executing the code from first line to last line. Last line will be the indicated by the close flower bracket where there is a open flower bracket at the first line. So, and then there will be a close flower bracket at the last line. So till that it will execute and it will return this. And, and wherever the met, this method is called to, the, to that same position, it will return, execution will return. So in the same way, in the Python, we don't use any flower brackets. So, but instead of that, we use the, this indentation of space. So for that, we call it as a indentation. Okay, now I will just, inside this method, I just print the value. For example, I just print value A. Okay, this is one method. I am just going to call this method. Even if the declaration is already done, method declaration, after that only if we type, so it will list the list of methods available. So in the last, when we are creating the variable, we were seeing that V with this icon. So, but we are seeing the F icon. So it, it indicates that it is a method function. So add is a function. So we don't use any colon. So we just, in the Python programming, we don't use any colon for to end the line. So, but in C programming, we were used to use the colon in the end of the line. So if I execute the code, it is printing the A value. Okay, so now let's give a concept of the global variable. So now here I declare a value a equals to three. Now, if I execute, so it will print three only. It is not printing a five, but here if I print a value, it is printing five. Okay, so now you may aware, uh, you might get confused like that. So variable are same, A and A. So it is storing five. So when I call this method, the value will become three and it is printing the A as a three. So after this line, so the print, this print is coming. So here also it should print value three. So because when I, when you call the add method, so A is replaced with the value three but it is printing the five. 
okay so now we will see so what is local and what is global variable so this is a local variable that is the the name is the same a equals to 3 so this local variable is can be used only within this function if it comes outside so a will not be there for example if i just delete this variable and if i am going to print this value it is it is giving the error unresolved reference a so even if i want to execute it will throw the error name a is not defined okay this a is only local to this method so a equals to 5 so within this file this a variable is the global variable so any method can access this variable but this local variable